What's going on guys? I'm Drew with Drew Does Trucks. Today, we're not doing trucks, we're back inside working on the house. Now this is my mid 1800s home, has a downstairs half bath. Um, the former owners put their washing machines in here because they're in the basement. I guess they got tired of going into our creepy rubble stone basement. So when we moved in, we had a bit of a rodent problem. We had some problems with this baseboard trim that required me to do some tricky work there with the trim. This drywall was cracked. It's actually drywall over um, shiplap, which you can see here in the rest of the bathroom. And someone had tried to put drywall over that. So we stripped a bunch of that stuff out, got a nice flat surface and put this nice sturdy drywall down, repainted it. And we put everything back together, put a new sink in. Um, the one thing I didn't do is paint this back wall. But while I was working on that today, I noticed up here we have dryer lint. <laughs> when you see this in your bathroom and not in your lint trap, you know you have a venting problem. So this is our dryer on top, and this is our dryer vent, which goes from the dryer vent to outside. And as we look, you can see you got a lot of lint back here. Now, this right here is our vent, and as you can see, it's been blown off. And I've had this problem with this dryer before. Um, it just seems like nothing has worked to hold that on. And the way this bathroom is, our clearance is so tight here with the door frame that I have to scoot this so far back, I can barely get a hand back here to make this connection. And I think that's definitely contributing. So I did some research to find out what we could do to solve this problem, hopefully forever. And I'll show you what I found. So this company called Magvent, I'm not sponsored by them, but we'll see how this goes. Um, this company called Magvent, they sell this product that uses a magnet and a ring. And this is supposed to mount to your ring in your dryer. So this is like basically an unboxing video. So I already slipped this open. Um, but I haven't actually gone any further. We love hearing from you. Tell us your story before and after. $10 rebate. Okay, cool. Um, we'll get this out of the way. So this, this is... This is the product. This is nice and thick. Okay, I get it. So basically, I've watched the videos on their website. You screw this plate to your wall, and then your dryer vent clicks into that. See how it does these little lips? And that'll snap into your, that'll snap into that. Now this side goes to your dryer. And you can get it with or without some of these options. I just went and got the full kit that has this little adapter hose. So this flexible hose will go onto your dryer. You see how that has give to it? So you screw this to your wall and that gives you this only this much clearance. That's all you need, which is probably four inches, five inches max. Um, so that'll mount your wall. And then as you screw your dryer back towards that, them, they're very, very strong magnets on this thing. Just automatically suck it into place. And they even include drywall anchors. That's nice um, to mount to mount this part into your wall. So we're gonna try mounting this today. Um, our first step will be determining exactly where this needs to go, marking our wall, pulling our dryer slightly away, and then we will screw that bracket on. So as you can see, you get that anywhere close and it sucks on. And there's no dryer in the world that blows hard enough to rattle that loose. That's a nice strong bond. See that? The only thing I'm not sure about, I'll have to read the instructions, is uh, I, I think that this clamp is included. I think that this is fused per permanently onto here with epoxy or something, and this clamp is included for you to screw it on your dryer. So that should give us a nice secure connection. And the, the nice part, what I like about it is I can pull the dryer far enough away from the wall to really take the time to get this on there the right way. And maybe even sink a sheet metal screw through this clamp into the dryer flange. And then I don't have to be back behind there trying to make that connection. Because as soon as we back the dryer up next to this, as long as we're close, boom, clips right on. I'm excited to try this. I'm excited to have no more lint in my bathroom. So let's see how it goes. All right, we're back again. I had to switch cameras. I've got my other one doing a time lapse on a roof install. But as you can see, um, 
I folded this up. I need to pull this out the other side. At the moment, the roofers are working and they're tossing stuff off the roof, so I don't want to go out there. Um, we went to Home Depot and got a new um, exterior roof vent with a flapper door because our old one wasn't working. Our old one had the um, louvers and they were staying open. So in the winter, if you left the dryer door open, you'd get a nasty draft. And then, <laughs> um, just because I had it out, I just went and got new heavy-duty. This is the heavy-duty semi-rigid duct. Um, that's pretty much what was in there, but it's we're replacing everything else new, so why not just get new? It's clean. It's got no lid on the inside. I think it is, might be just a little thicker wall than what we had. So, um... As I showed you earlier, this mouse your wall and this part clips in. So the first thing you need to do is, <laughs> it's all gonna magnet together here. Uh, the first thing you wanna do is, is kind of clip this in place. So as you can see, it just fits in there like that. And then you want to reach this behind your dryer and find the spot on your wall. So for us, our vent is right there. So it looks like this will mount right above that outlet plate and be in line both horizontally and vertically with that once that's scooted back in place. So we're going to line it up just with the left side of that outlet just above. So now that we know where it needs to go with the dryer in place, we'll have to scoot our dryer up just a little bit to make room so that we can screw that bracket into the wall. And then we will clamp um, this adapter piece onto the back of our dryer. So I'm going to go ahead and scoot the dryer out, and then we'll get that taken care of. All right, as you can see, we got our dryer scooted back. Um, this washer and dryer are stackable. They are screwed together. They're very heavy. I used a heavy-duty hand truck to help scoot them back without tearing the linoleum flooring or sheet vinyl, whatever we're calling it now. Um, so we we checked, and we found this is good. We're going to want to line this up right here with the edge of this. So we're just gonna hold it in place and then we're gonna mark our screw holes and then we're gonna screw it in with some drywall screws and some drywall anchors because this is not on a stud. We know that because it'll be above this outlet and the stud runs right next to the outlet. All right, we've checked and we've made sure that our AC power doesn't run this way. In this case, that power actually runs down to the floor. And the tool I've chosen for the job is this Milwaukee quarter inch stubby, um, impact driver now the makers of the vent kit give you these self installing self drilling drywall anchors so we're going to go ahead and use those um, i've had pretty good luck with these in the past you simply use a phillips head driver screw them into the wall and then you screw the screws in it's very difficult for me to get a camera angle back here that would let me show you what i'm working on um, especially with this particular tripod that i'm using but I will um, I'll do what I can here. As you can see, those easily went into the drywall. Uh, three out of four did. The fourth one did strip out, but sometimes that happens. Fortunately, I have some extra ones here. Sometimes it helps to install them with a larger bit. It's like this is your regular number two Phillips, and we went to, I can't remember the other size, but a slightly um, broader shoulder. I'm going to try and stick another anchor in there, and then we will get this bracket screwed on with the included uh, screws machine screws all right guys as you can see we got all four of those anchors in we have this screwed in it's nice and secure i'm not even sure you really need four anchors those anchors are very durable as you can see but the next step will be to i'm gonna, in my case i'm gonna have to install a new vent fixture here which will require me to go to the outside to work on that once i get that in i'm gonna run my rigid tube Cut that to size, connect that to this with the clamp, and then uh, we'll be ready to click that in place and back our dryer back in. And I'll show you guys that step by step once I get that outside vent replaced. All right, so we got our new um, our new vent into the outside. This opening is not perfectly square because apparently they installed the crown molding afterwards or something. I don't know, but either way, as you can see, we did crack a little bit of drywall. Um, we'll patch that with spackle and caulk later. I wanted to show you this tip. Um, we bent up this pipe just a little bit. If you take these one quart paint buckets, you can get at any home improvement store or paint store. Um, work them down in, take your fist and stick it in there. 
and you can just kind of work it around as you can see that'll work out a lot of your dents and make that mostly round again that way your clamp will have something effective to clamp to so we're going to go ahead and stick our semi-rigid pipe in measure that for length and then we will attach it to the new mag vent and i will show you guys that as soon as it's done all right so this particular section was an eight foot section um that's fully extended as it turns out fully can compacted like it comes in the package it is just perfect for our mag vent so we've got some worm clamps on we're going to go and tighten those up and then we will click this in place and then we'll still have to put on our dryer side so we've got our semi-rigid tubing in place the next thing we need to do is connect this flexible magnet duct that comes with this to our dryer making sure we got our hose clamp in place because we're going to slide that out you need to screw it on all right so that's tight all the way around we're going to test it make sure this can move enough to clamp onto our mag vent it looks like it's plenty tight so that should prevent any leaks I really thought about sticking a screw or something into that but it'd be really hard to get one in I just don't think it'll be necessary with this setup so there you have it we should be able to slide this dryer back and that should click in place and if it doesn't by itself we should be able to help it in place so actually I'll just leave this camera here And let's see what happens when we try and push the dryer back. All right. All right. So our mag vent is clicked in place. We are actually further back than I've ever been able to get this set up. We do need to tuck it towards the wall just a hair. And that should get our mag vent clicked All right, so as you can see, we manipulated that bracket just a little. Our mag vent is clicked in place. And anytime we move this dryer in the future, that will automatically disconnect and reconnect. We won't have to worry about manipulating our hands back in this very, very tight space. So um, I'm gonna use it for a little bit and then I'll show you guys how it works at the end of the video and we'll see if I'm still a big fan of it because it's not cheap. I'll post a link in the description. All right, let's see how it works. All right guys, it's been a couple weeks since we put the magnetic dryer vent on. We have run probably 20 loads of wash through the washer and dryer, which seems like a lot, but of course we had the washer and dryer down for a few days while we were doing this work. So anyway, um, we finished kind of redoing the bathroom, so that's all nice. And if you take a look back here where our dryer was, where our dryer is, you can see there is no lint anywhere and um, a side bonus is with the mag vent and that new thicker wall tubing, it's a lot quieter in here with the dry running. I did not expect that to be a side effect, but actually is. Um, I guess a lot of noise must come through the thin walls of that tubing. And obviously we were losing a little bit of air where that vent connection was. So anyway, this uh, so far has really impressed me and I strongly, strongly recommend it. Um, seems vastly superior to any other method of securing that vent on the back of the dryer that I found. So I'm going to link to that product in the description. Again, I'm not sponsored by them. Um, I paid full retail price, but hopefully this helps somebody out. And um, if so, click like, subscribe, comment on my page. I love to hear from you guys, and I'll see you guys on the next video.